I'm a top global influencer who is Kemunto. Hi guys, today I'm gonna to be doing a story time. Um, I'm Kemunto. There, guys, if you're new here, I have 40,000 subscribers. We are heading to 40. Let me say exactly how much we have, how many subscribers we have <laughs> right now as we speak because yeah i have 41,845 k tribe guys k tribe is people who subscribe to my channel which is free actually and they become part of my tribe and i call them k tribe my tribe anyway guys i am so excited like to share this story and it's highly inspired i've always wanted to share my story but watching this story from another youtuber a South African YouTuber, shout out to Lelwa. Okay, I hope I'm saying your name right. But I watched this girl's story time, Lelwa, of how she become from a slave queen to a cashier and how life actually humbled her. Actually, go guys and watch that video. I think I'll link it on the description down below, guys. And yeah, I'm an influencer. I'm a top Kenyan influencer. Okay, not Kenya micro influencer but this video we are going to be mega superstar you guys are gonna give me my 100k plug youtube plug guys because guys i deserve it i have over how many videos online huh on youtube alone i have over yeah i have over 1100 youtube videos that i've uploaded on my youtube channel from 20 when did i start youtube i started youtube like serious serious i started it around 2018 when sdr kenya started operating yeah that's the time i started really seriously i started 2017 but i was not consistent i'll post one video over a period of one year but then 2018 came i was at least serious but 2019 is when i was like Really, really on my schedule anyway this time this is my story i don't think i've ever told you i've told you how i got the casino job and things like that i've told you but i i haven't sit down one-on-one -on -one with you guys to tell you about kemto bear who is kemunto and actually kemto is my middle african name it's my tribe from my tribe like i was given that name by my mom and it's my mom's named me after my shosho my grandma may his soul rest in peace anyway this is not about that story this is a story of how i for uh, how how i became a top gold ball influencer from a slay queen casino girl guys i'm gonna tell you like my story time and i'm gonna freelance it i want it to be natural like we are like we are discussing we are talking with each other guys i wanted to like you guys to know me to know you, me and if you like this kind of sit down story time please give this video a thumbs up i want you guys to know me i feel like like you guys know me like the one who know me they know me well and for those who don't know me they ask there's so many assumptions anyway for the assumption q and a you guys you can leave in the comment section down below or i will put an instagram and then you guys can ask me freely without me knowing who asked the question so that you guys can ask oh it's my lips mm. i've been talking mm. sorry guys Sorry, I had something on my teeth. Okay, let me get go. Ooh, I need to be straight to the point. Okay. <laughs> Why should we start? I'm so excited to share with you this story time because people think it's easy being a top influencer, but <sighs> some people come in the game and they are top influencers within one month within two months but some of us we struggle but it's not the end of the world because even tomorrow i'll wake up after posting this video and i'm over 500 over 300,000, over a million subscribers the sky's the limit let me manifest so hard right now guys um 
people like will shame you like i've had so a journey both challenges and success and learning lessons for who i am today for me as game to bear i have come through so many hurdles and i'm thankful for every lessons that i've learned because they have built me and from my lessons i and my mistakes because i am not a perfect person guys i ain't perfect i am shy i'm an introvert i am not perfect sometimes people mistake my quietness i'm really an observative person they 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 think i'm a snob actually but people who know me my friends my family my circle uh they know me and i, I uk tribe have studied me you've seen like my consistent personality has been consistent i am really uh people uh, like i love people who are my like i I'm loyal and I'm kind and I'm patient and I'm loving and I'm giving, I'm caring, I'm supportive to my friends and my family. Like I am that person. Uh, yeah, I am. I truly am. Like people who are in my circle. Let alone don't 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 put acquaintances or work colleagues or something like that. But anyway, like this is about me it's about Kim to bear so how did I come become the top influencer youtuber I know this is gonna be controversial some people will say I am not some people whatever some people will shame me some people have actually have people shame me for the time I've been a youtuber and they've told me to quit because I it has taken me how long it has taken me over 2017 over three years or five years 2017 because i started youtube 2017 but let's call 2018 2018 2019 over five years to be at the level i am right now guys so some people have really like shame me on my big years on youtube and not like being like my peers and things like that you'll get that a lot in the in, in the industry actually you get that a lot but you have to have thick skin and stay on your lane and mind the business that pays you and don't care sometimes it takes me it makes me sad but guys I'm, I'm at 41k I am not at 2000 like I, I'm growing like even yesterday I grew one subscriber that's mileage for me that's growth for me guys anyway how, how did I start I'm gonna be raw this video I'm not gonna edit so that we can engage we can connect guys uh, so what happened how did I end up being a youtuber so let's start from my work experience if you want my story time of my childhood you can let me know but I had a decent decent upbringing up bringing i come from a very large family i have like over eight sisters and i have one brother and one of my sister my elder sister she died my other sister like i call her sister she's on youtube all things african nana she's actually my niece but she is uh, the daughter of my sister who passed away and she was she like my sister had her at an early age right after she finished high school so we were brought up like together so i i call her my little sister but i am actually the last born of my siblings but yeah and i have other also like sisters on youtube my being mona in kenya shout out to you and raising baby ella in Kenya raising baby Ella right now she's called raising baby Ella they keep on changing their name I don't know why but yeah raising baby Ella I'm also thinking of changing my name to just being Kemunto let me know in the comment section but bear is there's a meaning in bear anyway we are drifting this is how I am guys this is why I don't do story time because the, my mind is everywhere but anyway so that's a short bio so when I was, let me just say the story since from like after finishing college. So I went to Mombasa 
Technical University and I stayed there. I did a diploma diploma in community development and psychology and I did it for I think three years yes and I graduated I got credits guys I am smart I am smart some people tend to think I'm stupid because I'm quiet observative but this brains this brains anyway enough of that I'm not like really really smart like a genius but um I, I do try. I believe my my mother, if she would have taken me to the group of schools or the national schools, I'll be somewhere. I'll have street is manifesting, guys, manifesting. Anyway, I loved my time in college. My college years were the best. I love Mombasa. I have a thing with coastal regions like i love it like i'm gonna buy a house like youtube is gonna make me buy my house in a beach house that's the dream goal to buy a beach house in mombasa the kenyan coastal so i stayed there i was happy i graduated and life was good life was i was having the time of my life going out clubbing that's when i discovered guys i drank my first alcohol when i was 21 and it was with my sister being mona she she told me and my first time going to a club it was by my sister my sister mona she is <laughs> she's that girl she's an it girl if you know you know like she is like she is like so gorgeous like she's so beautiful so she said when i finished high school like and i like around 21 i was in college like that she said like Came to, of course, they call me. My nickname at home is Jojo. So they call Jojo. Of course, I'm gonna take you out. She took me out with her friend Eva, and I remember the club. I think it it was called Bob's. Yeah, Bob's in Nyali, and we drank alcohol. And she made me like she bought me my first alcoholic drink, and I drank, but I wasn't like drunk, drunk, drunk. And then yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. She took me there. I also remember my first time watching an X-rated adult movie. Like this is why you have to have sis like I'm so thankful of my sister because she they introduced me to stuff so I'm like I'm always like a step ahead above my peers because like I have sisters like elder sisters and they teach me the game. <laughs> they teach me the world adulting. So I remember like oh they told me like Jojo you have to watch have you ever watched any adults the first time I watched an adult uh, x-rated video of course you know what I mean I don't want to be nini with YouTube because it's it's becoming sensitive so I watched it with them they were like Jojo have you watched an uh, x-rated video I was really naive actually I broke my virginity when I, I was 21 and I'm not lying I'm not lying guys there's no need for me to lie. I, I already told you if I'm going to lie it's better I keep quiet like I zip it instead of creating lies I can't keep up with lies I can't multitask I, I will forget the next time I'm here on video and then I forget and you're, you're like but you came to say this and this anyway so at 21 they showed me like the exit i remember and i was like i saw this woman doing like the dog position i was like this is so disgusting like i was such an innocent girl baby girl i was like this is so disgusting this is torture they're punishing her but nowadays <laughs> let me stop from <laughs> let me stop there anyway so what happened so i watched that and then um 21 yeah broke my virginity yeah then then what happened so and then i i was uh, in mombasa most of the time but during like breaks like semester breaks i'll be in nairobi i have family i have siblings in nairobi and i have siblings also in mombasa then i lived with my brother for the first year when i went to college and um i just wanted freedom so i i decided like 
to yeah i lived with my brother and my sister-in-law but then i decided when my sister got a job at wild waters i decided to move with her and then we were staying at i think why is it kisauni so we are staying with my sister in kisauni she she used to work at nearly wild waters and then she quit she quit or she got fired and then she worked in like port as a waitress or something like she used to change like she was she, mona mona was the go getter so we we lived with mona for like another year yeah i went to school for i think three years yes three years or is it two and a half i don't remember well i have to check my my credentials but I think it's like that because there's a one, I think it's two and a half years because another semester for six months we went for, um, how is it, vocational training. No, in Itangwa Jele, in Itangwa Jele, where you go to a job but they don't, internship, yes, we went for internship in Kwacha, in an NGO in Mombasa around Kai Bombolulu. This is why I need to tell these stories because I'm I'm getting old and I'm get I'm forgetting. So yeah, I stayed with my sister for for a year and then my sister like uh, uh moved in with her boyfriend at the time and then her baby daddy now. So she moved in there and then my sister took me to like uh now the hostels and i went to hostels near my my school in chuda area so that is when i i became i became who i became i was going partying every friday is partying and then i was happy because my classes were evening classes so the people who were in class with were people who were working so we were going clubbing clubbing fridays clubbing like life was good life was life was lifing guys my battery is dying anyway life was lifing life was good i had no complaints i was so happy and all those good stuff and uh, yeah <laughs> those are the time where i will go out with men just to for a free meal and for a free night out date out anyway so i graduated after graduation i came back to nairobi when i came back to nairobi i was like what should i do what should i do i wanted to be so i wanted to work so bad for un because i remember the last like semester for us to graduate we went to dadab the border for and then we had some talks some speakers we went we saw the refugees in the border like the somali kenya border and we we talked with an un representative they gave us their card i was so i knew i'm gonna be i'm gonna work in un but you know how kenya is getting a job for your course or anything it's really hard even me like right now i go outside to find a cleaning job imagine i will not get it's not that i choose i'm a chooser me i'm a hard worker give me work i will work even now as a top influencer give me work as long as it's making sense i will work i will work with my youtube i'm a full-time youtuber like I need to work, I need to do business. Like I do, I've tried so many business also. Why? I there's a time I was called my mama jeans, but I'm okay. Uh, Jojo my jeans. Anyway, I'm. Let's <laughs> rewind, <laughs> rewind Kwanza. So I was like, oh, I'm bored. I need to work. And then my other sister was working also in the casino. I think it was called Kings Cas Kings Casino in town around 6 8 yeah so she was working there and i was like this is the job for me this is actually the job for me because she had night shifts and even if she had day shifts there were no nothing like waking up at five in the morning or four in the morning i have a thing where i i am a night person so give me anything past 2 p.m i'm i'm good i'll work, I'll work. but four five six seven eight nine unanichesa kwa nini no baby girl you only malaysia shule and that's the one of the things i hated about primary and high school anyway we move so i was like this is the job i want and i kept asking her my sister judy like i want to go to 
I want to I want I want to I want to work. I want to work. Is there any vacancies at your work? And my sister was like, no, no, no. No way. My little sister is going to work in a casino. That's, that casino world is not for little girls. Like you, Uta Jisa, Uta Aribika. And, in, and I was like, Kuli wume Aribika, wuja Aribika. Mina no kopua. Konzo, like my sister is an eight girl, guys. My sisters are gorgeous. You think I'm gorgeous? My sisters are gorgeous times ten. So Judy was like, no, 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 no way. You're not gonna work there. You are gonna find a work. You're gonna find a work in the UN and blah 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 blah. So I was like, I was sad. And then I called like, so we were given. Remember, I told you when we went to Dadab, we were given like the cards with the people, like the UN, like people there. So I took the card and I called the guy. The guy was from Togo. So yeah, he was a human resource. A human resource in UN, UNHCR something like to deal with the refugees so I called because one of my studies my social studies community development yeah we work with NGOs so we Nini we I called him and actually like I emailed him I emailed him my CV and he gave, like call like literally called him and he picked his phone and he was in Nairobi when he was in Nairobi he told me to meet him at a lunch date and me I went there knowing that he wanted to give me a job so he started telling me oh you you are fine <laughs> don't you like exercise because now it's like six months and I'm resting and I've become voluptuous Kumbe one thing led to another the guy wanted like to date me but that's a story for another day okay one thing is i never got the job but the guy just gave me money <laughs> but i never got the job anyway i was like desperate and bored and i wanted now to to really really work so i was like i was like one of one day my sister the my sister judy she works in the casino so one day my sister judy like she was talking with some other girls like finding like they were vacas there was a new casino opening in town blah 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 so uh they were like i don't want to reveal the casinos <laughs> free publicity no <laughs> kidding anyway so i was like mm, so i've had so it was in town so i went so my sister didn't know me i went it, uh, no it was not in town it was in westland okay no this is how it went there was they were opening like three branches one in gong road and uh, in junction mall and another one in like the same franchise another one in in cameo nairobi town around the cbd and then another one in westland so me i went to the town one because why fair so I went to that one when you remember that I, I talked with the bouncer and I was like we were with my sister Amy and I was like hey, I'm looking for a job I just finished high school I don't have any qualification because I remember I didn't I didn't study for hospitality so I was like I need a job I will start anywhere what vacancies are open so the bouncer was nice and he told me like there's lots attendant vacancy and there's train dealers there's waitress cleaners everything so and he told me take your cv to westlands Mthithi road i will never forget so i took my cv to westland Mthithi road and then they took me as a dealer and i did some mathematics i'm really good at mathematics actually not really son i'm not genius genius i'm just i'm not even clever i'm just so i do, uh, they i did uh evo i did uh the test and they told me i am in so we trained for i think two months it was supposed to be two months and then they extended it to three months because the renovation for the casinos were taking a bit longer so they didn't want to lose us so they extended us for one month but the good thing is they uh what did they do they paid for for our transport yes they paid for our transport so when I, we were along the the casino also had uh in Mombasa road this is what is this hotel it's near F furniture palace like there's this building 
this, this I've forgotten the name guys I'm getting old but it's opposite hair tail there's a building there and there was also I think it was it called captain's casino so we're doing training there I remember my my group they've oh, what was this name guy this guy was what's his name let me have forgotten his name but let me let, let's call him uh what let's call him john aka john right it's even better because why oh, don't want to get sued anyway so yeah so john was my like we were bestie bestie <laughs> we were bestie bestie so we we were training for and it was really fun because it was like now it was like now you know like dealers dealing like if you are a dealer you know like it's games like card i know how to play card black card i know how roulettes like russian roulette i know how to do all those things casino girls so we were dealing i passed the exam it was fun time fun time fun time nothing to complain i made friends there also and uh, my friends if they are watching this my work friends if they are watching me here they always like shocked like came to you talk like that anyway so when um so this guy this john uh i think he he was kind of interested in me because i don't know because i'm cute i'm a 10 over 10 <laughs> I'm kidding guys, I'm kidding. Anyway, I'm joking. So it was too much close to me. So I didn't know like he was like with my trainer. Like I don't know, like we had the people who are teaching us dealing and uh, all those good stuff. They were Russians and then there was one South African guy. So we passed the exam. So the the Russian lady this this is why I'm calling them these names. So the Russian lady, let's call her what? Sasha. So is it Sasha a, a, a girl name? Let's just call her Sasha, okay? But she's a girl. So I didn't know Sasha was interested with, not even interested because this guy, John, years later told me like they were like sleeping with each other but i didn't know at that time so but john was so close to me but there was nothing going on between me and john but john like i friend is on john okay so the way the closer john was with me you know black women melanin they we can never go black <laughs> i'm kidding anyway uh sasha noticed and she was really jealous of it and because of john we were laughing at class one time and we already passed we were just waiting for the casino to be open to start dealing i was a dealer i was like i passed for training for dealer so this sasha was like mad sasha was like really mad and told me to go to the other training so that they, she can separate us from John so I went to slots you know so now that's how I became a slots attendant but slots are, I'm actually happy about slots because in slots you get to keep your tip and it's much easier it's just working with the machine and I have a good luck charm guys I have a good luck charm when I spin that machine I made people win. sorry it's maximum record I, I used to get tips like in a day 40,000 from one person. I remember he was a Zimbabwean and I told her and he asked me which machine is gonna win and I told her this machine is gonna win and he tipped me 40,000. Okay, he tipped me 15 the same day like in a span of four hours. He tipped me 15, 20, you know, up to 40,000. Hey, me, I was rolling. I was rolling. That's how I could afford. And that's how I was obsessed. I used to be obsessed with makeup. But now I was buying Maybelline because that's what I could have. Like, it was expensive. It was 1,800 Kenyan shillings. $20. Eh? In junction. I don't know what is it is in Kenya. The times two. Oh, whatever. So, we get I'm a slot attendant now and we start working i use we start working and um, in junction in gong road mind you i used to live in thicker road my sister used to live in thicker road so 
now this is where my slay queen casino girl era is becoming so i'm getting money even if i get 500 tip guys 500 tip i cry i used to think it's five shillings 500 tip that's like five dollars i used to cry that's how much money i was making per day but my salary like the company will pay us 160 dollars you know me i thought it was money me as long as i was waking up getting pretty and going somewhere to work and it's fun working in a casino it's so so much fun you lose yourself if you don't have the brace but it was fun me mama told me well mama don't worry i'm a gangster you raised a gangster <laughs> <laughs> so i worked there but then there's this there's a casino video i did go and check it out there you'll know about my first work at the casino that there, there's a woman you know how woman and then our manager was from south africa and he she, he was really nice he didn't bother us but when this lady came may soul rest in peace she was called joyce like he started nepotism tribalism like he wanted he would find fights for us to get fired or to get relocated because the the branch we were in gong Run, it was the one that was making money the most because it was in the rich neighborhood the up the upper class neighborhood of kenya so people who were coming there were mullahs and mullahs anyway that's where i got like i used to buy makeup i'll go to junction there was this makeup station there was maybelline i will buy i was doll up and every time i notice when i'm doing my makeup even now when i do my makeup that's when brands want want to work with me anyway i love makeup so a win is a win so i used to get a lot of tip when i do my makeup and i'll be a slay queen mm, mm, mm. and da, 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 da. so what happened there but how how did they get fired in junction how did they get fired in junction what do i remember did they get fired or did I leave the job? But it was such a hectic commute to work because remember, I was all the way in this side. Now that time, Gong Road was not equal me me kiwa. Anyway, it was tough. It was tough, but I enjoyed it. I we used to commute. I used to commute two hours to work, two hours back home. That's four hours. I used to sleep, wake up, go to work, and that's where it taught me work ethics so i was working with russians the first time that casino was for russians so it was ruthless but it was fun but the kenyan came to manage and she brought nepotism tribalism and all those na nasty nasty so fast forward i started the the other casino the eastland casino like after one year yeah i worked there at one year and then i went to eastland oh, no better things better things so this is where i started working with the chinese the eastland casino is for chinese i think it was called golden palace but it's in eastland along gong road so i worked there fun 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 like fun 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 my best friends i became best friends with my kai Chris. my friends are beauties like grace shout out to you grace i think she watches my channel up to now we became friends i always like i tried to drag her to start youtube with me because the girl can sp lyrics she has lyrics why can spit anyway so we became friends with that and then there's another friend we became torture magda <laughs> she was called magdalene magdalene so <sighs> Magdalene was trouble. You know those girl who will like How can I say like she was trouble anyway Kama was Kama she got fired because she was like stealing chips uh, Like over a hundred thousand like that girl could have bought a land, but she she was Kind of stupid. She wasted all of the money with a man anyway that's a story for another day. I don't like talking about people because this is my story time. But I got like, she was like a friend of me. But anyway, we move. Ah, you know, I confronted the girl, of course. Anyway, I don't feel like talking about that. It's about me. Anyway, 
I became like some supervisor. You know, one thing Chinese will do, they will use your, 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 they will use you. They will use your profits. That's where I learn to be time efficient. I'm really time efficient. I'm on time. I know how to manage time. And I'm so happy I learned this from my work experience. And I, I have applied it throughout my life and consistency. And it has really enriched my life. Anyway, so they knew i i had qualities and they didn't want to give me like um manager position but i was doing things like a manager i will train people because they like training people this is how they got me also even the russians are the same but chinese are worse than russians so so i will train new people when they are coming to like or maybe they are waitress and they want to progress to to slots at dinner so i was in charge of that i was in charge of making a roster and i'm just getting sixteen thousand. remember i'm being paid sixteen thousand kenya shillings only so i still lived with my sister because there's no way i'm gonna like anyway but because you can't because there's good times and they also bad times on getting tips we'll rely more on tips than the salary anyway so I will make the roster. I will teach other like people, uh, so train them. No, sa no salary raise, no job, no. The tango is opposition. Si pay, si pay for because one anya anya sanga tu atu. Anyway, it was good, it was fun. Me, I take what I take and leave what I cannot leave. I'm not a political warrior. I am not blessed with that, but I like teaching people the knowledge I have. I like sharing whatever knowledge I have. So I was besting. Then I became just Wama Jeans because I used to, my sister Amy, she used to like sell me like camera, fast camera, fast camera, like she used to open bills. Fast camera, fast camera, Wama Jeans. Even up to now, she sells jeans. So one lady asked me hey come to what where do you buy your jeans i told her, my sister sells jeans she said okay bring tell her this side the appetite side like waitresses one thing with the the hospitality industry to for you to be a waitress you have to be slim or you have to be pretty and all those things and so me i'm pretty I'm, and i'm plus size but that's days i wish i'll, I'll have a picture and i'll put them here anyway i don't know okay so i i used to sell jeans like bail mpia like cameras too and i used to sell them at 500 shillings and then my sister would give me 100 shillings for commission for per each jeans so we will sell we will sell we sell like everyone i became everyone's favorite in the casino everyone was like me 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 even the waitress will bring me like uh, like like guests food chicken wings noodles like i got first class treatment because i was selling jeans like really really good jeans and i was i was like making roster so if you like people would befriend me like the slots uh, side before me so that i'll put them in the roster so i used to put me and my friends on the same roster so we work the same shift it was fun 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 anyway one thing that led to another i got fired but it was not it was not on me that's another story for another day but i think i said a little bit on the casino how i got the casino job you can go and look for it i'll link it on the icard over here but then i got fired but it's because in short time like we went on a shot but it was a machine shot because uh the IT guys fixed it and it the next shift it came like it really balanced but because the Chinese have ego and I had ego I couldn't beg back because they wanted me back but I was like if you can't trust me now and I didn't do anything the next day it will be like that because they did they did not trust me like three times and yeah my battery is in a ticket yeah and that was that anyway where have i reached so my battery will end anytime guys support me on paypal tip me on paypal guys i'm a good service <laughs> so i ended the job and then i went 
now to another casino called Young Lee Casino. So in the Young Lee Casino and then nepotism, nepotism, nepotism. Me, I was tired. There was a Somali guy. He was so, because I think he was the manager. Yeah, not I think he was the manager and he didn't like me. I don't know why he didn't like me. I think he liked me in another way and me, I did not like see him in that way. Anyway, and because his sister... Wait. Where had we left, guys? It's I've just from my phone. It's 23. It's 11 30. You see the dedication, the consistency. You see it. Give this video a thumbs up. Okay, I'm so cheeky. <laughs> Anyway, we left where like the Somali guy, the manager from Yungli. So his sister was married to the owner of Yungli. So, um, I didn't even last one month in that job. I think God was just calling me to my purpose because I, I was at work. Oh, and then like, I, yeah, remember when I told you like my boy boyfriend I was dating I was dating that guy for I think six going on six years and it was what happened he told me to stop I was doing YouTube I started doing like YouTube but I I learned about YouTube I was watching YouTube natural hair like the Patricia Bright April and Justin and I saw April and Justin like um what like before I went to Yongli now, I saw April and Justin. Why am I sitting like this? I saw April and Justin. Uh this is my good side by the way. This side of this side. So I saw April and Justin <laughs> Slay Queening. I was a slay queen guys. A slay queen. Anyway, tips. If you want to work in the hospitality industry, make sure your makeup is good. Make sure you have the clean girl look. Like make sure you are the new hairstyle you are slaying always be kept like presentable and cute like makeup makes you cute and good skincare makes you presentable like pick your battle but it's good to have good skincare invest in your skincare instead of makeup I wish I could have learned better because that's where I got my hyper pigmentation because I used to sleep with my full-on makeup and my friend Claudia that's when I knew how to I should be removing my makeup imagine at my big age and my big slay age queen age anyway Claudia is my like my friend from college no not not college we went to the same like we knew each other from the NGO internship that's where I knew Claudia anyway Claudia is my BFF <laughs> but I'm such I'm not really a good friend friend because my communication skills are zero like I take friends for granted because I have so many sisters so keeping up with eight sisters and then having friends but I'm gonna work on it okay my communication skills is zero zero anyway so the guy like yeah that's like around like the cas island casino to young lee that's when i knew about like youtube i was watching youtube videos i was so addicted to being a youtube viewer like i was watching everything and just seeing nikki because Nikki and Jamie, Nikki and Jamie will used to comment on April and Justin's video and then I was like I was so interested like to see other world like other people other world what they were doing and it was so new to me and it was so exciting and I remember I came across YouTube when I was searching for Airbnb or something yeah because my boyfriend at the time was coming in town so he told me to like look for um like an airbnb a two bedroom so that we can when he's over in Nairobi we can be to, like instead of a hotel anyway that's a story for another day i think i've done story times about that so that's why i knew like about 
YouTube because I wanted to see like the video of the Airbnb and then it it took me to YouTube uh, Airbnb video or something anyway so what happened so and we used to stay when he came he stayed like behind Junction Mall and we used to go for coffee in Junction Mall it was good times anyway and then what happened uh, I'm trying to make the stories short short so if you want to know about any story let me know in the comment section I'm not a good storyteller but I'm really trying with six years five years plus on YouTube I'm really trying <laughs> if you watch my previous videos my early early videos oh my god I was not okay anyway so what happened so that's when i started like i was watching new videos i was like tired i bought my first phone i'd saved from the previous casino i bought a thirty thousand kenyan shillings phone and i told my 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 sister judy she has a friend from zek zek is it called zek s z e c h from zek republic and he bought like I, I wanted a good phone so he bought the microsoft phone i wish i could have bought another phone but that's i don't know i bought it the guy the guy was an it guy so he told me my sister that's the best phone so i got my thirty thousand. that's my first expensive phone from my own money i bought so i bought it microsoft this is the reason why i'm telling you this story so i bought my microsoft lumia yes and then i was like i'm so fucking this this can't be it this is not life i started like losing hope because the casino was okay people were okay the clients were okay it was a fun environment to work my other like workmates colleagues were okay but this manager was just not it and it was i don't know and then masika shout out to masika they charge we oh yeah i know i no, I was fired at Eastland Casino because of the shot. Anyway, so the 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 Masika shout out to him, like he's that awesome guy, awesome, awesome, awesome guy. Like told me like, oh, well, in Inkilia, like, uh, like I got laid off. Not me only, like because I think the casino was not doing also the way well the way they expected and they had had a lot of stuff so i was laid off but it was like things like god god make ways for people because i only stayed at that casino i think one month going two months and i was so sad i was like how will i afford like number one thing was like because i was still living with my sister and my sister like i wasn't making enough money but i will buy like food uh, electricity and water things like that yeah that. I'm thankful for my sisters like my sisters are my rock like if I ever make it in this world if I ever be rich I'm gonna buy my sister's apartment each one of them like manifesting hard and my mom my mom like I have like uh, if I have been blessed with one thing it's a very good family like our family we've been gone we've gone through dust but we've remained strong like our bond as sisters and brothers is so strong i think that's because of my mom my mom is a pillar yeah and my dad my dad may his soul rest in peace i miss him so much i wish he will like my dad will sit down with me my dad is a video person also and my mom like oh you guys i wish you i wish i would have started blog because my dad passed away 2015 with cancer esophagus cancer and hmm, that thing is very sad like losing a loved one is very very sad i've lost two beloved ones two times like very very close my sister mama nana and my my father now so those are very painful death that i don't think i've I'm healing like I think I'll talk about that in another video so where was I so I was like how <laughs> the slay queen this is the slay queen part I used to be so cute guys like you guys don't know like I'll try and find pictures and insert them here and there and I was so cute like everyone would want to me to teach them how I do my makeup and this that, that. and then I'll watch beauty by JJ Jenny Jenkins, she taught me how to do makeup, like 
the the gurus like i shout out to them i don't even know they are watching this but that's how i learned from them and i still watch them up to now and when i was watching when they fired me luckily i was living with my sister judy and now mama solange and now i became like a full-time like i was searching for work but you know kenya the unemployment the youth unemployment rate is high and it's not because people don't want to work there's no jobs and that there's no capital to start business because i've started i've tried to sell jeans I, because i start I, I i like i told my sister okay we can we can buy things you can buy things from turkey also like also like second hand thrifting things like that we tried with boat bills i even did like i remember some videos on my channel we were opening bills i tried to sell bags like thrifting bags that it came in end at tv what else did i try i tried also airbnb like i tried before being an airbnb host myself i tried also to be like like managing airbnb for like people in gong road i i remember i used to there's this guy who was like a real estate agent in in a big agent agent farm in, along gong road so i used to i i introduced them to airbnb because they didn't know they used to provide fully serviced apartment but they didn't know about the airbnb site so i introduced them to that i made those guys one million guys one million kenyan shillings that's why i knew money so i used to get like a percentage for communicating like taking pictures like I, I did it like i'm a hustler guys i have tried it so i used to feel bad when someone will ask me what do you do i feel so bad because i didn't have a title i didn't have anything and now i was like babysitting so lunch and i was so down i, I used to watch youtube videos they will, they will keep me up at that time i don't think there were kenyan youtubers at all but i remember my sister like i think now six months in i remember my sister telling me my sister mona telling me like sharing a video of Ambosha, and i just fell in love with Ambosha. and then i was watching Ambosha videos and i love because she was doing makeup and you know your girl loves makeup so i was watching her but not really 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 because she ne she didn't used to upload consistently. Maybe I'm wrong, or, but she didn't used to upload consistently. And then I started watching Joanna too, Kinudia. But that's when I, 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 I've already started like YouTube for six months. Okay, let me rewind back Kidogo Tena. So I am fired. I'm babysitting my sister. I'm looking for a job. There's no job. Biashara uh, Ziendi Vizuri, my sister, was trying, was trying to buy bill from Rama. I even introduced you some guys to Rama, my plug for, for bills. So I used to do thrift bills. Yeah, I used to do that and... My sister Amy was like one day was she was like mm, you're not watching YouTube all the time you should start vlogging again you should start I wasn't like a vlogger vlogger but I remember I posted a video some silly video it's good my 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 ex told me to delete that channel anyway and then my sister was like I was like but he will know because at that time we were still like together but he will know I don't want to I don't want to I think he was controlling me let's say say as it is I don't want him to find out and then he leaves me because of YouTube blah 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 and then my sister was like are you serious you can create another name that it won't click on him because now came to is my middle name and then the second name it was like the bear one I used to call him bear <laughs> I used to call him bear so it was like sarcastic or joke so I used that's why I came up with the name came to bear because I used to call him my, my teddy bear he wanted me to call him teddy bear my teddy bear instead of baby anyway that's what that was our thing so it was sarcastic or came to bear anyway it is what it is so 
my battery is ending so i created my name my middle name kemto is my real name my real tribal name like i was given like it's my tribal name from where i come from kisi so uh, that's why i'm called kemto bear the bear is the sarcastic joke yeah so i named kemto bear and then i was like i was still watching april and justin and then i saw justin was justin was like a manager like in the medical department and then one thing led to another another video i was watching and he said he quitted so that he can be a full-time youtuber and i was like hmm and then his wife april was saying yeah there's money on youtube blah 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 follow me on instagram so i went to follow her on instagram so that's how i also created instagram account just to follow april but they follow me also on instagram and on tiktok the same is the name came to bear so that's how i knew there's money on youtube so i started youtube i said i said if they are doing this i can do it the kenyan version if they are doing this i can do th let me show them how kenya it is because you know cnn bbc they don't show the like kenya the way it is it's not only hungry mosquitoes whatever you know the image they put out there so i said let me show kenya and then my sister whenever my sister elder sister will take me will take us out to restaurant i will vlog it say the price like do more information of videos like that and then one day well this nairobi diaries was or oh, you remember nairobi diaries i used to react to nairobi diaries i was one among the first people to react to nairobi diaries i was like no way why are they showing nairobi nairobi slay queens are not like the armor slay queen i know oh but they were the first time like when i got fired i was like where will i get money to get cute stuff to get cute makeup i am forever look like poor like i was so sad because i didn't have money to buy makeup and nice clothes <sighs> imagine a slay queen at its best anyway what, where was i so Guys, I can see it. <laughs> what time is it? This picture I took was by my friend Judy. Yes, also as a my Jamaican friend, she's called Judy. We traveled to Zanzibar, and we met through you because of YouTube. Because mm -hmm, YouTube is, I've met really nice people here, like really nice people, and also very awkward, weird people. But I choose to lean on the good people I've met online. And a win is a win. <laughs> anyway, so what was I? So I said, now where they are going to portray Nairobi girls like this. So I, I decided to, I forced my sister and Anna, let's do a reaction. And we shared our unpopular opinion about the show. Kumbe, many of you liked it and you guys loved it. And just, I was getting 14. I got a viral video. I was trending on the YouTube page. I was trending. They even called me the Nairobi people. They called me and I just, like, that's where I gained momentum. But people are not subscribing. They are watching, but they are not subscribing. I get 14,000 views, but people are not watching. So I had 200, subs 200 subscribers, but 14,000 views. Each video of Little Be Darius. View, 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 view. So I'll try double, double, do natural hair, I'll do makeup. But I couldn't afford to do makeup videos because those were what I wanted mostly. Makeup videos and travel. But I didn't have the money to afford that luxury. I didn't date... Okay, the guy I was dating was rich, but he was he was completely stingy. The only time he would want us to go somewhere, and he didn't, he didn't want us, he wanted me to himself. So he, he, when I used to touch my phone, you're talking to other guys, you're talking to other people. Okay, let me go back to my country. So it was a no-no. So I used to do everything like... Me, I'm a person who I will do any content. I will wake up, I'll do content. As long as there's content, I will do it. Eh? With that Microsoft phone. You guys, I'm boring you. I'm sorry, but I'm going to post it anyway. So, because I have been commercializing you, Sana. I've been doing sponsored content, so I know you guys miss me. So here is a piece of me. A piece of cake for me but also engage on my sponsorship videos and my collaborations so that i can buy that car because so guys 
I'm still thankful guys I know where I come from and I know where I'm going that's the key anyway so I can answer YouTube people okay so the SGR came the train the SGR train and I said I have to go to Mombasa I was visiting a friend uh, from a friend so I said I have to go to Mombasa I have to book this train I have to be the first one to vlog because I knew there's someone who wrote to my DM I should watch on trains like he had like a complete train I didn't even know, know them so I booked the train that video is already up you will see it's Back, back, maybe the search came to base. Yeah, it was in 20, was it 2017 or 2018. The first time the train was launched by former President Uru Kenyatta. We booked it with another YouTuber, Miss Trudy. I'm not gonna be those influencers who, who I don't say names of people. I know where I came from. So we booked, and Miss Trudy is, uh, is she's a hustler and she's. That girl is a go-getter. She can be many things, but she's a go-getter. And I remember my time with her, it was just content, content. Came to what will we do? What, what will we do? To, we reach a million. What will we do to do this? What will we do? What will we do? So, went, and that's where her video went viral. And mine also went viral, but not like hers. I got 10, I think 30,000, like it went 10, 20, 30. Hers went to 50, and people from China, like in the university, were watching our videos. Yeah, like people will write, oh, you, you in class today, our lecturer put her, your video, we are watching your video. So life was nice. We went to Mombasa, we were broke. <laughs> we were broke. We couldn't afford anything, but with that, too, like we were shooting content. I remember we going to Nitrogen. There's that cafe hotel in City Mall. In I've forgotten the name. We went there to Kadandia Wi Fi. We uploaded that video. We uploaded a video. She remembers if she's watching my videos. And uh, yeah. So that's how it went, and then I just started creating video, and then uh, something happened. Like I decided to stop doing Nairobi Diaries review because it was so much negativity, and I don't know, the, I don't know, something happened, and I stopped doing Nairobi Diaries, and I just concentrated. I said I'm gonna concentrate on tra like. A subscri subscriber reached out to me the first time I went to Tanzania and she reached out to me. I remember she reached out to me to, to do her makeup, but I was scared because it's a stranger online. But she was so nice. Shout out to you, Chi. If you are watching, if you are still watching, I love you so much. I will, I can never, like, I need to gift you because you gifted me when I had nothing. I think I only had a thousand subscribers. Oh, from the SDR video, that's when I grew to a thousand subscribers. So I knew if you create like, because we did an educational video, like where to get your tickets, the price, the experience, we were among the first, not even among, we were the first to me and truly. I will say that. So we did that and then I gained at least a thousand subscribers from that video and I was happy and I said okay let me try and do more restaurant videos any money I'll save up my boyfriend gives me like a thousand and then you guys started donating to me there's also a, a there's a subscriber who told me to to do the PayPal thing that's how I learned about the PayPal because they were trying to donate to me and that's how I knew like he taught me how to do it and told me to always ask because you're not putting a gun you can ask because there's some people who are generous enough and they want to contribute so I'll get contributions I'll go to restaurants vlog 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 because my sister my elder sister was not getting this vlogging thing so she used to get annoyed when I was like why is she always on camera why is she like are you serious you're going to vlog food are you serious like why are you vlogging yourself on a, on a like 
there were like negativity but I stay strong I stay strong by the way I stay strong my mom was my pillar she knew she got it anyway mothers will always support their kids no matter what so my mom will even give me ideas when I go to the village I will vlog and my mom will tell me do this show me when I'm carrying my my pot show the stream show the river show the how we are cooking these things will come that like we are being modernized so let's show the traditional before it's completely modernized like my mom has ideas so that's how I vlog that and from that videos I'm getting over 3 million views for showing me going to the village like I had no plan so yeah and yeah that's how I became big and from that I got like 10,000 more subscribers in a span of one week and here we are we are continuing and what else I did collaboration there are good collab collaborations I won't focus on the negative collaborations because I got trolled and bullied because of collaborating but it I also got like good friends good connections also and i got to meet the biggest youtuber in in, in africa to me uh miss judy Godemaya. i met amarwa i met also d when she was six thousand subscribers i remember so well she was with her brother and i meet these beautiful people like online and I'm just going to mention people who have impacted me the positive way online and not focus on the negative because with everything even in work there is negativity but I will focus on the positive and that's how I choose to from now henceforth no negative energy I cancel it anyway so that's how I, I met them and it's really good to collaborate with people but what I will say is always look out before you collaborate with other people always look at the content they make so that you can see if it aligns with you and I don't even mean in numbers like subscriber numbers but the content like what they create that's how you will know anyway that's how we'll know if it's a good fit and it's a mutual beneficial collaboration so that's what i learned from the negatives and i know i'm not perfect but i'm not gonna dwell on it but i was really bullied and trolled online so what i will tell you what i've learned from being bullied online is always keep your head up know it will pass and there's another drama that people will because we live in a microwave mindset like two minutes it's another person's problem two minutes another person's problem so just try and the wave will pass the bullying will pass because let me tell you the more you grow the more you will attract bullies online and you you will not see like why are they attacking me i'm just doing my own content but kitu kizuri kila mtu atakaa kukimbilia na kuyaribu na whatever Anyway, I'm not saying that in me Missouri, but I'm not perfect. But what I know is I don't come with ill intentions. Like I never have ill intentions even to other people. I have no ill intentions. Like I'm just like if this didn't work, let me move on. Something else will work. Like now moving on in peace. So what have what happened? So what I will tell you what I learned from being bullied online is don't ever respond don't ever respond don't ever shade don't ever respond on negativity because you're just adding you're fueling the the negativity so always like block delete all those for your mental health because for a minute i was like really sad i was so sad it's just that i have this youtube passion i was just about to quit youtube and saying now i'm done I'm done but I changed I rebranded from that I rebranded I knew my mistake I knew what I did wrong and I rebranded and I knew how never to show my weakness it's a good thing it's a bad thing but anyway I rebranded totally and that's how I am I am Kemunta I have 41,000 subscribers by the time 
for the time I'm recording this video. 41, how much? I have, let me say, because 41, 844 subscribers. I think one has left. Anyway, it's okay. 41, 844 subscribers. And that's how I grew my channel. I tried different niches, but I've always remained true. I've always shown my personality. I'm an introvert. I don't talk a lot, but to people who I'm used to, I'm close to, I'm extrovert like i talk with no breaks or even if wow through to have been able to travel i travel to tanzania two times because of you guys k tribe and i'm forever thankful shout out to you chi shout out to you judy Ju through judy i met another black american man 14 shout out to 14 i also met uh who Claire, shout out to Claire, she's Barbados, like shout out to you guys, I don't know if you're watching me, but I don't, I'll never forget my humble beginnings, I'm still humble, I'm still the humble beginnings, but I can't say I'm like, palini, tambo. I'm so thankful, and then what else happened, I'm thankful, I am looking to travel more to take this camera to take you guys and travel the whole world because deep down apart from beauty and fashion and lifestyle i love to travel and you know guys the way i travel like you know how i travel and then because of youtube i got this perfect opportunity shout out to you guys who i went to india with shout out to you guys shout out to you guys and i recorded the whole experience like my my youtube like youtube has really changed my life and that's how i became a top youtube influencer i'm manifesting i am a micro influencer now but i'm gonna be big macro wait stay tuned and watch anyway guys that's it my battery is running out actually support my channel on paypal patreon and pesa send wave global wave whatever all those good sites here so that i can be able to upgrade my gears and <sighs> i hope that story is not boring anyway guys bye good night i need to remove the makeup I'm still a slay queen. Now I'm getting paid. I can't forget the way I used to take my tips to buy a lipstick. Now I'm getting PR. Now I'm getting paid to slay. Is that winning? Nobody can tell me less. Winning, winning, winning. Bye. And if you want more story times, give this video a thousand likes and more thousand plus more for story times hope you got to know me more raw and honest